We are most honored to have been invited specifically by the One Book, One Community Coordinators to be the voice of John D. McDonald. And I thought Thank if you. we're going to honor the, the works and the, the literary legacy of John D. McDonald, we really want to hear his words brought to life. And that's what the play readers do. They do such a great job. These are trained actors. They're able to bring his, his words to life. And then people maybe who never were, um, never had read McDonald, weren't really familiar with it, hopefully will inspire them to want to read some of his works. He would eventually sell nearly 500 short stories to detective, mystery, adventure, sports, western, and sci-fi magazines. What I love so and what everyone art. loves um, are the, the, his, what gives me a lot of satisfaction, first of all, is performing it, P performing the dialogue, because he had a tremendous dialogue um, between men and women, and the narration and the internal um, dialogue that Travis McGee had is fascinating, and so we've all enjoyed that immensely. I never dared let anything really lasting happen to me or dared admit the flaw. I am a big John D. McDonald fan. Most of the people of my generation that were with me today had never read him, but I am a total mystery freak, so anybody who reads mysteries knows JDM. And I loved the fact that they really concentrated on the eco ecological aspects of his work, because I'm an environmentalist as well. So for me, it was perfect. <laughs> I told her it was a lovely evening and kept going. Even the wind-swept half-sheet of newspaper that wrapped itself around my ankle had some magic meaning. Bringing his works to life were like the voice of John D. McDonald. So that's very exciting. We see the people in the audience really responding well to it. They laugh, they're, they're, they're fascinated. We have quite a few John D. McDonald fans as well. So that makes it even better. And then we're all hams. We, we love performing. So, you know, it's a combination of the two. <sighs> They want you to have to look for stuff every time so you'll see other stuff you didn't know you had to have. Oh, why don't you just go look at the magazines or something? You make me nervous hanging over me. Well, first of all, I'm, I, I can't believe that we're so lucky here in Sarasota to have this kind of, of sort of, it's really an intellectual effort on the part of many, many people. And it also gives a great exposure to somebody who's really important to the history of Sarasota. And a lot of people have never heard of him before, but now they will have heard of him. So that's important. It's going to be a steamroller operation, and uh, it's going to be right over anybody who stands in their way. All right. Yeah, it's nice to be able to honor a homegrown, well, he's not a homegrown author, but he lived here for over 30 years, and he really was closely associated with Sarasota. So um, it's really nice to highlight his literary legacy. Just think of all the grotesque, embarrassing concepts which would disappear were we all readers. And we leave you with that message. The cast is... Dick Pell. Diane Brin. David Coe. Alice Cotman. Ray Crusoe. Thank you. Thank you.